Graham, owner of Acorn Counseling, and I'm coming today to talk to you about um, some things that I have been teaching for years. And basically, um, one of the things that happens when we are having big emotional reactions is that it really is helpful for someone to acknowledge our feelings. And acknowledging our feelings helps us to stop communicating them. I've tried to think about what feeling is everybody having right now and um, you know so I guess I can't really say that but I can tell you what I'm feeling and what the parents around me that I hear seem to be feeling and that's a sense of it's almost like being tired but it's also about not knowing what else to do we figured out how to pick up our groceries from Kroger's. We know whether we're furloughed or laid off and we're kind of waiting for what's going to happen next. Um, and there's this feeling that we don't know what to do. And there's a danger here that's called learned helplessness. If you learn that you're helpless and that the next thing you do is going to matter, then you stop trying and you stop uh, innovating and you start being creative. And I think that's a danger here that we all kind of face. So let me just say that we all feel a little bit helpless right now. And yet there are so very many things that we can do. We can love our families. We can um, really focus on what's important teach ourselves new skills, figure out where do we actually want to be when we get out of this? Do we need to change our perspective or where we're going? Is there something new or more that we should be doing when um, the quarantine lifts? And the other thing is every day count the kinds of decisions that you can make you can decide whether you have that extra piece of sausage or if you choose to eat the last apple or if you choose to um, wave at your neighbors um, you get to choose all kinds of things like tonight I wondered if it was important for me to get online and talk to you parents and maybe it was maybe it wasn't but for me it helped me to not feel so helpless or tired or uninspired and so I'm just going to acknowledge that those are feelings that I know I'm having and other people may be having as well and then I'm going to communicate the truth and the truth is this is not forever um, this pain this separation this isolation this enforced uh, stay at home it's not going to be forever but it can sure teach us so much. So the first thing is the first step is to acknowledge feelings. The second step is communicate the truth or limits. And the third is to target appropriate alternatives. So what's an appropriate alternative? Count the choices that we make. Make the time that we have with our families count. Um, focus on learning something new, developing something new, dreaming about something new, helping the people around us. Those are all really worthy choices. So today I'm choosing to talk about things that I know that might help you in your life. And I'm choosing to wear green because it's my absolute favorite color. And I'm choosing to make uh, crazy dinner plans and wild and wonderful new ideas for Easter and just work on those kinds of things and I'm also dreaming about the future acorn may not look the same in the fall as it does now in fact I'm pretty sure it's not but what a wild ride that will be you guys have a wonderful night and figure out a way to take control of the life that you have and decide today um, how to make the most of what's going on. Have a wonderful night. Let me know what you're thinking about. Goodbye.